Well, Rich, we've already talked about fantasy and magic cards tonight, but over in Larryville, there's a place that's mixing up a real life magic elixir. And Daisy, they're doing it all with a little Yinzer twist. We started making some fun spirits as well that, uh, you know, we named, of course, after Pittsburgh things like the Pittsburgh parking chair. I enjoy drinking absinthe from all over the world. One day I said to a friend of mine, there's got to be a way to make this. I obtained a recipe that dates back to 1855. I started to perfect, you know, my craft as a distiller. And that's the um, recipe that we use for 1129 Ridge Avenue Absinthe. Absinthe was illegal up until 2007. It includes wormwood. And wormwood's really the key ingredient because it has a chemical in it that was thought to be dangerous to drink. The truth is they discovered that there's not uh, enough of that chemical that comes over in, in the process. We take our spirits very seriously, may, the craft of them, um, but we don't take ourselves too seriously. We decided to name these products after things that made us laugh about Pittsburgh culture. Parking chair vodka, named of course after the Pittsburgh parking chair. Ginzer gin, which is just a play on the word Yinzer, and, um, and Jaggerbush gin, uh, which Jaggerbush, you know, if you're not you know, from Pittsburgh, you might not know what that is. It's a rose bush with thorns on it. Everybody in Fan Nation, of course, knows what Jaggerbush is. All right, with that said, we're gonna go make some drinks. Hey, Fan Nation, today I'm gonna show you how to make Gino's Smoke Show. Half an ounce of grenadine, half an ounce of lime juice, one and a half ounces of fresh squeezed orange juice. Today I'm using Jaggerbush gin that we make right here in house at Lawrenceville Distilling Company. One and a half ounces of that. The little bit of bitters. Now today I'm using Bitterman's bitters. This is the Scarborough bitters. That can be completely omitted if you don't have it. If you want to go for it, go for it. Top this off with a little bit of ice. Just give it a quick shake. Strain into my Collins glass. It's gonna have this really beautiful color to it. This is gonna taste super citrusy and delicious. And what we're gonna do next is top it with a little bit of ginger beer. So if you haven't guessed it by now, this is actually a variation on a Moscow Mule, named after the great one himself, Gino Malkin. Just gonna top it off with a little bit of ice. And here comes the fun part, fresh rosemary. If you have a butane torch, toast it up a little bit. And what that's gonna do is provide this beautiful herbal note to our cocktail as we sip it. Finish it off, some pomegranate seeds. Provides such a pretty color on top. Express a little bit of orange peel right over top. And that way, you can smell all the delicious components as you sip. Cheers, Fan Nation.